<laughs> How's everybody doing? Well, oh my God, 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 oh my God. <laughs> I've heard so much. I've heard so much, um, you know, criticism about the movie Wakanda Forever. You better believe it's forever than skip it. It is forever. Let me tell you, this movie strikes a chord. It strikes a chord, not so much because, um, not so much because it's a it's a black movie, and it is the first uh, black movie that depicts the black race being a superpower, a global power, a world power. Uh, because as black people stolen from Africa, slaves from the motherlands to be subordinate subservient to the other races for so long, it almost gave the illusion that we were created realizing that we were the first genesis, the first primordial race in which all the other races came from. And this is proven genetically, just talk to a geneticist, because black is the dominant gene in which all the other colors come from. Even science knows this. But we have been, as a race, so traumatized by experiencing what has happened to us as a race that, uh, and it has been fostered and kept this way for so long that it was almost unconceivable to think and believe that we were once the greatest nation on the face, not just of the cosmos, but of the entire universe. This is why our blood and our gene is so strong and our bodies is so superior and everything and we resemble the black earth. Okay? Wakanda forever is not just a movie that exists in the ethers of time. It still exists in our own blood, in our own genes, even to this very day. Wakanda Forever is the story of Lemuria. When Uranus, the first god, ruled the cosmos and the ages, before the birth of Saturn, before the birth of Jupiter, before the birth of all the other gods, was Uranus. And before him, Gaia the marriage, and the progeny, the child, right? The Madonna holding the child. That's the earth. There is your trinity. Uranus, Gaia, the copulation, and then the earth. That's the baby held by the Madonna. That's the primordial trinity. Yeah? Yeah. Whoever wrote this movie, and it was a collaboration, it was a collaboration of people who wrote this movie, they know what they're writing about. They know what they're doing. <laughs> they do. They know what they're doing. And let me tell you, this goes so deep. It goes so deep that it's going to take more than one video to talk about it. And I welcome many of you to do videos and put your opinions about it because this is your story. But it's not just the black race and the beginning of humanity. It talks about 
all the other races, the black race, the Asian race, because it all came out of one. It had to start from somewhere, and we were the first. We were the first empire, the first global confederate, which is why slavery and the destruction of, or the attempted destruction of the black race was such a global agenda because they did not want us to return to that greatness again. But everything comes full circle, full circle. And definitely the Aquarian age is the age in which we are going to return back to the old kingdom. The old kingdom is in Egypt. Egypt was only a recapitulation of what took place in Lemuria. And the movie Wakanda Forever is describing the third period of the Lemurian epoch. Something in history that goes back over 25 million years ago. Heaven and earth did not look like it does today. The orbit of our planet and the other planets, and there were other planets besides Jupiter, Venus, Mars, Neptune. There were other planets there. It was a whole different canvas in the sky with different rulers and gods and beings that today are long forgotten. But it still remains in the hearts and minds of the priests of Egypt, which kept the records. I know because I was one of those priests and I was there. I remember toast. Oh, it's deep. It dips my cubs and it's about to get deeper. You see, the church, and you know, I try so hard. I try so hard to move away from bashing the church. But I gotta fucking go there. Because the church, upon the beginning of the Aryan epoch and the beginning of the church era, changed all this shit around to hide the truth. You know, if you really want to understand what has happened to us as a human race, as black race, you need to read the story of the Jews and the Holocaust because it was the same thing. It was the same thing. The, the Jewish Holocaust, which was horrible. I've read, as an anthropologist, I've done the history. I've read this history. I've seen just the, the movies. I've read that. I'm horrible. And it should not, have, whether you're Jewish or not, this should not have happened to any race of people, any race of people. But if you study the, the Holocaust of the Jews, and there are many that say that it didn't happen, I don't, I'm not concerned about that. To me, it did happen. Because it's not new. It has happened constantly in history. And every race has had its turn. Okay. I tell you guys, nothing is new under the sun. All has been here before, and we've all experienced the same trauma in more ways than one. Okay? Wakanda forever. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I really... Don't know. Please don't call while I'm streaming. I don't know how to even begin to explain what happened. Every single man of color and every single woman, and listen, I don't work for the industry. I ain't getting no money and I ain't getting no cut for this. So this is not about bringing money and revenue to the movie industry. But you've got to see this movie 
and 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 that goes for you Asians, Native Americans, and yes, even our fellow Caucasians. Yes. German, Irish, Jews, Scandinavian, and all y'all, you've all got to see this movie because it is telling you, I mean, it's telling you so many things. It's telling you so many streamlines of stories on so many levels that you can fucking pick which one you want to talk about. I'll give you an example. The story of uh, the Archons. The Archons. You all know that I've done videos on the Archons and how humans came into contact with the Archons, right? Because there was a time where the Archons did not bother humans. Kind of like nature spirits, right? Nature spirits, and I'm talking about the, the, the salamanders, the gnomes, the sufils, the undines, you know, the nature spirits. They oversee nature and the workings of nature, right? The air, the fire, the water and the earth. And for each element, we got archons that correspond to these elements. And they take care of our rocks, our minerals, our trees, our air, you know, even our oxygen and how we breathe. All in, again, if we go back to the concept of the beehive, everyone has a job to do, including the queen. And there is no disturbance of this beauty of order and harmony. Uh, if you remember the movie uh, Kong, or is it Kong? I think uh, um, there, there, there's been a few movies that, 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 were, that were made about Kong. You know, the big car, uh, the one with, um, the one with, what's his name? He he does that commercial, uh, Capital One, the black dude, the black actor, one, one of my favorite actors. The, 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 he used to do the Capital One commercials. Oh my God, Fernando, what is his name? I hope you know who I'm talking about. He was in that movie. Remember the plane crashes in the island? You know, it was off the radar, remember? And they were looking for this pilot guy, the, the, the white guy, you know, he got lost and he got, you know, he stayed with the natives, right? They never talk, the natives don't speak, but he can talk to them, they like him, right? Remember, if you remember, you need to watch that movie because that movie kind of tells you, um, and it was very subtle. It was very subtle. In that movie, at the beginning of the movie, they tell you, they tell you that, um, People thought that when uh, when uh, when the when the people came to the compound, right? They saw the big wall, and they thought that it was to keep out Kong, but there were spears sticking outside the walls. And uh, the white dude, right, that was there with the natives, right? He was telling them that it, that wall was not there to keep out Kong; it was there to keep out these flying. Um, they look like raptors that were predators. And he was saying that because man was bombing the earth to kill Kong, they disturbed these monsters that came from the earth. And now they can't go back in. Now they're out. And now it's like cockroaches infesting the planet. But these beings were undisturbed until mankind, throwing bombs on the earth, shook them and disturbed them, and they came out of the ground. Well, in a way, that's what happened with the archons. The archons lived, these particular archons, 
And they are, and, and, th and I'm simplifying the story because it goes more complicated than that. And I'm going to do another video where I'm going to put it all together and you're going to see what I'm talking about. But in this primordial phase, these archons who were not meant to intermingle with mankind were disturbed from their order. And mankind and other beings from other planetary system began to use them to pin them against each other. See, the archons are, I mean, they're parasitic. They're not, they don't have spirit. They don't have soul. They're like pawns in a chess game. And depending on the player and the mind and heart of the player, is what's going to be assimilated by these archons. So if you're a good person, you're going to attract or you're going to mold and influence these archons in a good and positive way. But if you're a bad person, then that archon is going to learn nothing but badness because it, that's what it's coming and learning from you. And that's how you have created a polarity of good and negative forces. But this is something that occurred not by human beings alone. No, it's not Denzel Washington, it's Samuel Jackson. Thank you, Vanilli, Vanity, Samuel Jackson, that's right. Watch that movie, watch it carefully. Because that's exactly what happened that awoken these archives. But the movie Wakanda Forever talks about interstellar archives. And, and, and the movie is actually giving you like bits and pieces of the story of the Bhagavad Gita of India, where there was aerial battles of different beings battling, fighting each other with different weaponry. It's in the Bhagavad Gita or the Upanishads of India. What comes up forever is no different. It is the same story. Where do you think these writers get these stories from? Where do you think they get these stories, guys? Wake up. This is already written stuff for Dalton. This is our story. That greatness scared the other races. Like, oh, no, these people can never know who they were. They can never know. We have to make sure that this lineage can never return. And that was the premise behind slavery. To destroy the memory and the lineage forever. Wakanda, Wakanda, forever, is the story of us as the first kingdom of the third period where war began to emerge of the Lemurian epoch. I'm just saying. Guys, please give, please donate. 347-485-6258, Zelly, or Cash App. F-E-R-N-A, number five, and the old Fernando. And you can call for a reading, 2816908825. That's 281-690-8825. And don't forget to join in Patreon. Come to Patreon where we got more sp specialized content. Join Patreon. Guys, I hope this resonates.